everyone, this is Easter Wolf. Good evening, it's Better Toast 1037. Demon Knights and, uh. You know, really, just not even get Storm Demons to back to that. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And we found a Water Mage, that's, uh, not really useful for us. We also found a Water Mage in the middle of the desert. Okay. Uh. Hmm. So one of my guys got horror marked. This this happens. Oh wait, no. Oh fuck, now he's a great commander. Jeez. Ah, but he's one of my blood twos, so I don't want to give up that blood hunter. I mean, I'll have Yes, and I got this guy, so it doesn't matter anyways. There we go. He can he can control two hundred and ten undead. And more importantly, he's going to just immediately make a, uh, uh, what is it, what the hell is it called? There's a Mound King that I could make, Revive King, but there's also, I can summon some kind of, uh, so, some kind of caster so that I can, you know, make sure that if I lose this guy, I don't really lose it. There we go. That's the one. Okay. Well, that's all excellent. And then, where is our Blood 3 guy? There we go. Do we have enough to summon another one? No, we need five. Okay, where's the one guy that's making sanguine dousing runs? Because he can stop. Well, we found three Blood Mages in this desert. Okay, and a bunch of, uh, a bunch of items, too. We'll just go ahead and take everything from them. Those are some pretty well-armed, uh, water mages. There we go, and now we can make another ice double. Because I think they all have innate un uh, demon leadership. It's just that the one with death uh, also breaks me into death magic, which is very nice. That's perfect. That's the one that I wanted to get. Okay. He also comes with a bunch of bone fiends at the start, which isn't bad. Certainly not bad. They're all kind of weak in my dominion since I took a big heat dominion, but I can live with that. Okay. So yeah, now we'll get to construction six. Hmm. I'm not gonna be doing too much with any of the any of these. Good auxiliary. You just take your boots off and enjoy the rest. Oh, I guess we could have also told Bale to, uh, well, that would have been one slave too short. And, uh, we've got two backup sanguine dousing runs now, so we're doing fine. And in fact, this guy can start, um, blood hunting this worthless desert. Uh, because a level three one's still going to be able to get something out of it, and that's worth it. And then I should start looking about getting a, getting blood hunting going on in this province. In fact, you head over there and hire another priest. That should work out fine. Go ahead and pick up those guys. We'll go ahead and back off so that he doesn't think we're doing anything sneaky. I'm not actually being terribly sneaky, but... Yeah, she should be able to go and pick up all the stuff there. Our lovely lady still um, isn't doing much, but she's there. Um, I really would have been better off taking some other god, I think, but she'll come in handy later. Much later. I mean... 
She, uh, she can she can wake these up for me, I guess. She also awakens sleepers, which I'm not sure if they actually have undead leadership, but that could have been another way to get them to get undead leadership on a pretty nice chassis as well. Oh man, I've also got all of these provinces that I need to be blood hunting. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then uh, where where is a good old Colwyns? We can start setting this up. Yeah, you guys can just move right along. I mean, you can go back to just blood hunting normally. It's perfectly fine with me. Why do I have domain over here? Whatever. Okay. Still, so once I get to construction six, I should be able to find something that will uh, go go ahead and help me uh, kill the golem, which is kind of a primary concern currently. But I think that's going to be it for this turn. Ruin. We have four more, four or five, five more provinces, six more provinces, seven more provinces that I need to set up the blood hunting on. Um. I can summon a priest here, or not summon, like, get priests here. You know, actually, this is more like nine provinces, like, there were a lot of good provinces that Lanka had here for blood hunting. And, uh, a number of them already have things on them. So let's have you do Call of the Winds on this one. Oh, you can... Oh my goodness, you can just do Call of the Winds on the other one. Double check. Always good to double check this because I would have not completed construction had I just left that there. Excellent, though. All right, and then we also wanted to build a um, temple of some sort here. Although it's not nearly as necessary now. I've got, I've got the stuff I need. I don't really need the jade sorceresses anymore, so I'm probably not going to build them. I've got the Death Mage over here. He's going to create another Death Mage, and then one of them's going to make a Mound King, and the other's going to start side searching. And I've got a pretty respectable death income for not having any Death Mages and just randomly finding a bunch of water slates that give Death death Magic. Yeah. I just like to go through and click on the ones with the pluses, because sometimes I forget that they do really, really good things. Okay, where was Arrowfend? That's probably another research I need to get here pretty soon. Because it protects all friendly units from projectiles. Mass Flight's also not bad. And Thunderfend, also not bad. And Firefend, so I might actually go up to like Enchantment 8. We'll have to see where how many gems. Cause all I've really, I don't have terribly many gems lying around. I'm mainly using slaves and then forging up stuff. These guys are gonna be slow as fuck too. But this guy's horror marked. All right, all right. I just randomly get a horror mark then. Okay. So yeah, this has been turn thirty-seven. I'll see you next time.